It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. Well, good morning. It is another gorgeous day in Long Beach. I do have some time to kill. So I'm going to work on uh, editing some video. Yeah, just kind of um, recovering from a late night last night. Closer to noon, I'll check out and uh, head to the airport and sit around the airport for a while, fly to Vancouver, sit in Vancouver airport for a while, and then fly home. So you've probably also noticed by now that I have a lot of black t-shirts. It's a bit of a thing. So you know how when you get tired, um, you can sometimes get cold. Um, this guy. It is about quarter to 11. Uh, I've spent the last uh, couple hours just going over uh, footage from the weekend. Still have a little bit of time, probably have another hour or so before I will head to the airport. Um, either sitting here or sitting there, so yeah. Um, I think the tiredness is setting in a little bit because I'm just feeling freezing cold. <laughs> the good news is it's going to be like 30 degrees outside today, so it'll be toasty. But it was kind of cool going over all the footage and reliving it, but I got to edit. I could talk about it, but I gotta edit. So I'm gonna start editing footage so that you guys can see all the footage, um, or at least all the exciting bits, um, all the heavily edited um, bits, and we'll continue vlogging as we journey home. Here we go. Well, I'm just about to leave the hotel. One last view out the window. Wind's picking up. You can actually, I probably can't see it from here, but there's actually some surf coming up on the beach over there, but. Uh, yeah, it's basically downstairs, take care of the hotel stuff, and then Uber to LAX and get ready to fly home. So, it's been good. But it's time to go home. Well, that was a thing. Uh, made it into made it to LAX. Traffic was ridiculous, but my Uber driver was super cool and got me here quickly and easily. Made it through security, and that was a thing. But I'm here and I'm just gonna go walk to my gate. I think it might be at the very end of where I'm going. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be waiting too long at the airport here, so I'm not gonna have a chance to like eat. But uh, we'll see. I'm gonna find out where my gate is first and then we'll decide if I have time to grab a bite to eat. Grab some lunch before we take off. So I've had my lunch and uh, now I'm just gonna wait at my gate. We should actually be boarding pretty soon. Still seeing Twitch, Twitch shirts around though. Still seeing a few of those kicking around. Didn't have as long to sit here that I thought I would, which is good. Which is good, I'll save you some pain. And uh, we'll be in Vancouver in a few short hours. Back in Canada. Just landed in Vancouver. And I uh, gotta get through customs and uh, buy my new gate. I still have like an hour and a half or two hours before I have to get to where my next flight leaves. So I have some time to kill, so we'll do that. Yeah. I know I've said this before, but I love this airport. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. The little waterfall looking thing. Be greeting all the, greet all the international passengers. This airport's so pretty. So, funny story. Um, traveling in sweatpants, because traveling in sweatpants is comfortable and awesome, but very warm. And I think, oh, it's okay, I'll be in Canada. It's gonna be 30 something in LA, but it's only supposed to be like 10, 15 degrees here in Vancouver. Forgetting that this airport is. <laughs> It is really warm. I was get on the elevator to come up to where I need to go to collect connect to my flight. And I'm like, man, it's so warm in here. I step off the elevator and I'm like, man, it's even warmer now. That's okay. I'll be home soon. I'll find a place to sit. I have to decide whether I want to have supper uh, here or just have sun chips because I still have those. Maybe have a snack or something or some sun chips. And uh, wait for my flight home. So I'm overlooking the international section. Uh, of the airport, the international terminal, and it's like a ghost town in here. Man, it's quiet. It's weird. Found a quiet spot to sit. A really quiet spot to sit. I got a while to wait yet for my flight, but um, on the flight from LA, I started to doze off and stuff. I woke up and my shoulder was killing me. I got a massive kink in my neck. That's okay. Worth it. So I've had my fries. Probably gonna snack on some sun chips. Pick up some, pick up some juice. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to relax for a bit. Might try and work on some video. I sat near power, obviously, because, you know, as you do. Soon enough, I'll be on the flight back to Prince George. Tired. 
Okay, so we need to hit that. And no, that's not it. Is it this one? Oh, there we go. I think that worked. Did that work? This way? I have no idea. This is this is the way the chat's oriented, so um, so yeah, I'm sitting in the Vancouver airport. I have a few minutes left before my flight, and so I figured I'll try streaming with this live streaming app again. Last flight. Flying home right now. And that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you at home. Well, it's uh, just a little after 10 o'clock now. Finally made it home. Um, back here in my streaming room. And uh, pretty much feel like death. I'm going to go to bed after a fantastic weekend. But once again, shout out to Twitch and the folks who put on TwitchCon. And uh, looking forward to next year. Like I say, hopefully I'm going to do my best to try and make it down there for next year. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go get ready for bed and then uh, sleep the sleep of the dead. And try to be up for work in the morning, which should be a good time. So, yeah. Bye. Adventure ring with Paul. It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventure ring. Adventure ring with Paul.